वेलकम टू द स्पोकन ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टेबल एंड टेबल प्रॉपर्टीज इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू इंसर्ट अ टेबल इन अ राइटर डॉक्यूमेंट एड एंड मॉडिफाई रोज एंड कॉलम्स एंड एडजस्ट द टेबल प्रॉपर्टीज एज पर आवर प्रेफरेंस दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज रिकॉर्डेड यूजिंग उबन टू लिनक्स ओ एस वर्जन एटीन पॉइंट जीरो फोर and libre office suite version 6.3.5 two files have been provided to you in the code files link on this tutorial page please download and extract the files make a copy and then use them for practicing open the resume.odt file which we have created earlier now let us learn how to insert tables in a writer document place the cursor at the end of education details and press enter to insert a table into a document click on the insert table icon in the standard toolbar now select the size of the table that is the rows and columns you require i will select the 2 by 4 options which will give me four rows and two columns let me show you another way to insert a table into a writer document before that we will press the control plus z keys to undo the changes now click on the table menu in the menu bar and then click on insert table option insert table dialog box opens with several fields in the name field let us name the table as resume table we will keep the number of columns as 2 in the rows field click on the plus button and increase the numbers of row click the minus button to decrease the number let us bring the number back to 3 below we see a list of styles we can use this list to select a style for the table if we want to we will click on default style option for now then click on the insert button at the bottom right a table with two columns and three rows get inserted below education details now we can type any information in tabular form inside the table notice a new toolbar at the bottom here are shortcuts to the most common table features Let us click inside this cell in column one and row one of the table. Here we will type secondary school examination. Now click on the adjacent cell and type ninety three percent. Likewise, we will type other educational details in the table as shown. To add a new row, use the rows below icon in the table toolbar at the bottom. When we are in the last row of a table, press the tab key on the keyboard. This will add another row to our table. Click on row two, column one. Pressing the tab key helps to move forward from cell to cell. Pressing Shift plus tab keys help to move backward from cell to cell. In the last row, type PhD CSE in column one. and 2015 in column 2 another important feature in tables is resizing rows and columns we can adjust the height and width of rows and columns in a table in several ways we can increase the column width manually by dragging the border with a cursor likewise we can decrease the width as well we can do the same with row height also now place the cursor in column 2 of any row and click then click on the table menu in the menu bar and on size option now select minimize column width sub option the width of the column adjusts itself automatically 
it matches the width of the content of the cell in the selected column. Next, let us learn some cool tricks with tables. I am going to use the table-demo.odt file for this part of the demonstration. Open the file table-demo.odt which you downloaded earlier in writer. Here I have tables with two columns and five rows. To select an entire column, move the cursor to the top of a column of the table. The cursor changes into a downward arrow. Now click the left mouse button. The entire column is selected. Let's align the text to the center by clicking on the center align icon. The entire text in this column gets center aligned. Now click anywhere on the document to deselect. Next, move the cursor towards the top left corner of the table. The cursor changes into a downward slanting arrow. Click the left mouse button. The entire table gets selected. Now click anywhere on the document to deselect. Click inside any cell in the table. This time select the entire table by clicking on the select table icon in the toolbar. Click on the table menu in the menu bar and select properties. Alternatively, click on the table properties icon in the table toolbar. Either ways, the table properties dialog box opens. Here we see many tabs and many options. On the extreme right, notice that the alignment is set to automatic. First, let's change this to left. On doing so, the other disabled options in the dialog box get enabled. Let's name this table as my table 1 and change the width field to 12 cm. Click on the OK button at the bottom of the dialog box. Observe the change in the size of the columns. Once again, click inside any cell in the table. Click on the table properties icon in the table toolbar once again. Click on the column tab. Under column width section, we can see that only 1 and 2 are enabled. This is because we have only 2 columns in our table. Here, let's change the value of column 2 to 10 cm. Click on the checkbox for adjust columns proportionally and press the OK button at the bottom right. Observe the change in the size of the column 2. Click on the select table icon in the table toolbar. Now click on the optimize size icon in the table toolbar. This is the shortcut icon to adjust width of rows and columns. Select distribute columns evenly option. The columns are now of the same width. We can also increase the column width manually by dragging the border with the cursor. Likewise, we can decrease the width as well. We can do the same with row height also. Next, let us learn how to work with cells in a table. Click inside the cell in column 2 and row 3. Now, Keeping the shift and control keys pressed, hold the cursor over the left column border. Then with the mouse, drag the border to the left as demonstrated here. The border of that particular cell moves. Next, we will learn to split and merge cells. Click inside the cell in column 2 and row 3. In the table toolbar, click on the split cells icon. A dialog box opens with some options. In the split cell into field, we will say 3. In the direction field, we will choose vertically and click on the OK button. The cell is split into 3 equal cells. Now let us select the 3 cells and click on merge cells icon in the table toolbar. The 3 cells get merged. 
that's how we split and merge cell in table in writer once again click inside this cell in column 2 and row 3 we can even split the table into two by clicking on the split table icon in the table toolbar the dialog box that opens shows some options depending on what we choose the table will be split accordingly first i will choose no heading and click on the ok button the table is split into two tables press ctrl plus z keys to undo this action once again click inside this cell in column 2 and row 3 click on the split table icon in the table toolbar i will choose the copy heading option and click on the ok button the table is split into two tables with the same column headings let us learn about some more alignment options before that drag down the bottom row border of the second table's heading row select the entire header row as shown here now look at the alignment option for the cell in the table toolbar align top is selected by default click on align bottom and center vertically to see how the text gets aligned within the cell to give a background color to a cell first click within a cell in the table toolbar click on the table cell background color icon Yellow is the default highlight color. To open the full color palette, click on the down arrow of the icon. Now we can choose other colors from here. Next to background color icon, we see auto format styles icon. Auto format dialog box opens up. We see various styles here that we can apply to our table if we want to. Click on the cancel button. In the table toolbar, we see icons for choosing different borders, border styles, border colors. And there are numerical format shortcut icons too in the table toolbar. Explore all these options on your own. Save our file by pressing Ctrl plus S keys and then close it by clicking on the X icon at the top right. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we learn to insert a table in a writer document, add and modify rows and columns, adjust the table properties as per our preference. As an assignment, open practice.odt, insert a table with three rows and two columns, add the headings for the columns as column 1 and column 2, add some text in all cells of the table. Save and close the file. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The spoken tutorial project is funded by MHRD Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Nancy Varke from IIT Bombay. This is Pratik Kamle from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for watching.